Greetings from WBCS Neo. Oh, yes, I'm in the corner. Look, woo. Right. Um, I'm going to uh, quickly just mention about Facebook clone accounts, what they are and what they can and cannot do. Okay. What they are is essentially they, uh, a cloner has either got a hold of your profile via a public profile, which can be found in Google or just generally in Facebook under a, like a public level of, of access, okay, where they don't have to be a friend. Uh, they can just find you and go, oh, hello, and, and get in touch and stuff like that and friend you, okay, which is fine for general people looking for people who want to get in touch what I always tell people if you can is always have your Facebook settings set so only friends can find you uh, or friends of friends can find you uh, and it, it, it does shut the door on people who just generally want to try to find you uh, and not be friends with anybody else it's a little bit tricky for them but it keeps you safe at the end of the day until you know a cloner is a friend of one of your friends and then you're screwed okay right the thing I will get out there first is cloners are not hackers okay clone accounts are not your account being hacked I am sick and tired of hearing people say oh can everybody just not watch what you're doing don't friend us because I've been hacked complete nonsense you've been watching too much TV too much media too much BS from the media and government saying oh hackers are bad people this is nothing to do with hackers these are immature scam and scum who have no IQ at all hackers have a very intelligent IQ level and can do a lot more than just simply clone a, an account if they wanted to attack you you would know about it okay so you have not been hacked and um, you do not have to change your password changing your password will not stop you getting cloned changing your security settings in Facebook will stop getting you cloned okay again it's it's like Chinese whispers from idiots who don't know what they're talking about, and it, it boils me as a as a nerd that people think they're nerds and they're not, and they go around saying, "Oh, you want to change your password and everything because you you've been hacked." No, you've been cloned. <laughs> uh, I've put a few people in a place with that, and it I don't care if I upset them because at the end of the day they shouldn't open their mouth if they don't know what they're talking about. Simple as that. So anyway. Enough delay. Here is a an account that is a clone account of a friend of mine. Um, so I am going to do that. And what am I doing? Oh yes, left display one and transition. Here we go. Uh, getting used to this again. Um, so this is an account. This is a, a clone of a John Ritson I know. Um, really nice guy. Shame he's been cloned. But again, I don't know if it was a friend of a friend who got him into there and got cloned. We don't know until I snoop around a bit. Um, just for re reference, these accounts have been reported, so hopefully they will get closed down soon enough. Not the originals, obviously, um, but this is this is the sort of thing. I've often wondered what advantage there was to cloning accounts. I, I couldn't really put my head around it until I got, got a, a friend request from a cloner. Of all the people that decided to try the friend request, a nerd. Anyway, so, here we go. So, um, they start the conversation saying hello, how are you doing and stuff like that, which is fine, blah blah blah. Um, then they go down the whole route of, oh guess what, I found out this really cool thing. To sort of lure you in and get, oh, all right, oh, I'm interested in that. And they start going on about this community development block grants. Never heard of it, I haven't done any homework on it, so if anybody wants to investigate, Google it. Okay, see if it exists, I very much doubt it because of the amounts involved in it and apparently it's free money, right, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, that, that says it all. So, and uh, they go on further down here, talking about what the what it is, government program, and then he gives me this link to a profile. Okay, I'll explain this link very quickly. An M dot me link is basically Facebook Messenger direct link. Okay, so click on that, and it'll take you to log into Facebook and go straight into Mary Smith profile in Messenger. That's all it does. It's just a short link. Okay. No, it's not harmful. You're not going to get a virus. You're not going to get hacked. Uh, it's just a direct link for Messenger. Um, you can do the same thing by going to facebook.com forward slash then typing in mary.smith0133 in this case and it'll take you straight to her profile and then you can message her directly or him or it, whatever it is. Um, it's a hack. It's a cloner. So, you know, a scammer. So you, you don't know who's behind the, the picture as it were. Um, so I did that anyway. So I went through and, and 
in investigating got set up for that one. So I'll go on with this. I'm just going to blank that again. I'm just going to blank that again. Whoop. Uh, because I need it's, when you swap over in Facebook, it's a bit stupid and it'll go right to the end of the conversation, which I don't want it to do because it's going to spoil what I've done. Okay, so I'm quickly going to the back of the top of this conversation. It's quite a large conversation to this Mary Smith one. So I'll turn that back on and translation. There we go. Right, so this is the conversation from this Mary Smith government agent, apparently. Okay, basically going through Agent Smith's uh, charge of ongoing grants. Apparently, it's not a lottery win or anything, it's a, it's a grant. Okay, now if it was a grant, it would be something that you'd have to sign up to. Um, and find out if you're worthy of it stuff. Um, so basically they've asked me my full name and my age. I don't know why I put my, uh, <laughs> I just put Neo and my date of birth, well not my date of birth, but first, just a date of birth, the first of the first 1971. Okay, um, and then apparently she's confirmed by checking records, right? So apparently there's a record out there that says something called Neo with the with the date of birth of the first first 1971 even though she asked my age <laughs> not my date of birth but i give a date of birth okay and there's still apparently it's it still apparently was valid <laughs> how stupid are these people okay uh, so yes i'm certainly i want to find out what is going on so you'll have to answer some questions okay so this is going to ask you personal information which you don't want to give okay claim requirements um i'm assuming you'll be watching this in hd so you should be able to read what they're asking for so i'll just go through full name mother's name address email address phone number age monthly income and you want cash or check <laughs> okay the government would nearly always would not pay you cash they would obviously pay you via um direct payment okay through your bank account so that's gone straight out the window straight away um so I've, I've replied with thomas anderson which is obviously the matrix name for neo okay mother gear which is basically planet earth okay uh, 69 let's be having you let's be having you eh let's be having you now let's be winding you up now me at myhouse.com i mean oh well that's a cool email address isn't it um I will give a fict. I hope this number doesn't exist. Oh one nine one nine 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 four three two one. I've given the age of fifty two, which you know tallies up reasonably well with the first of first nineteen seventy one. A um, thousand quid a month. That's what I've put on there. Uh, and paying. I want to be paid in cash. <laughs> Apparently the government's going to pay me in cash. So that's going to be great. So thanks for getting back. Now you've unlocked and approved your money before it can be delivered to you. Are you ready for the? I mean badly typed so there you go are you ready for the un unlocking and approved process oh yep sure definitely want that money so here is where it gets interesting so now they're saying if i pay a thousand quid the government is going to willingly hand over one hundred thousand pounds okay so i give this person a thousand quid the government's going to give me a hundred thousand quid back that apparently okay that's what what they say uh, if I pay up to 10,000 quid, the government is going to give me 600,000. So the government's going to willingly give me over half a million quid. Okay? Apparently so. Kindly choose your preferred choice from the list. If this was genuine, everybody's going to do, you know, if they've got it, 10,000 quid to get over half a million back. They're going to, aren't they? Um, so, yeah. So, obviously, I said 10,000 quid. Um, so you pay ten thousand. So this is where the, the whole scam is started. Okay, this is where it all goes from this initial clone to someone who is apparently an agent, a government agent, uh, and they go down this whole rigmarole. Are you ready to make the payment? Yes, I'll do. Let's do this. I was trying. Do you know any ASDA, Tesco store, Morrison's and stuff? So what they want you to go is they want you to go to a local supermarket, go and get. Uh, like an Amazon gift card and fill it up with money basically okay same Amazon gift cards you might give to your nephews your grandkids or something like birthday presents and stuff like that you may just give them a gift card rather than a present and just say buy what you want and not what we think you're going to want and you end up putting it on eBay or something um, so that's, that's what it's for it's because Amazon gift cards I think you can go up to £2,000 I think it might be £1,000 or £2,000 I wasn't sure so I, I took a little 
guesstimate um, and did a little bit of quick Google search before I answered the questions. Um, so there you go, you've got to go and use the 10,000 to purchase an iTunes gift card or a Google Play cards or Amazon gift cards, etc. etc. Okay, so they, they give us a list of cards they'll accept, blah blah blah. But I wanted to pay them directly. Okay, I'm an old fogey, I like to do things old fogey style, so I would, you know pay them directly into the bank why not so ask them if they've got bank details so i can do a direct transfer it's like you can't get any better than that if some old person is going to say right i'll i'll have your bank details and i'll pay you ten thousand quid straight into your bank right now you were not going to turn that down but these these fools didn't bite <laughs> so you know you know that that you know that they know that it's very unlikely to be traceable through the cards and this is why they do it through the cards it's because it is literally untraceable um, it's a bit like um, Western Union stuff I know Western Union is a genuine thing but also a lot of scammers were using it for quite a while because it's literally an untraceable route okay um, so now he's, he's asking if I'm there and stuff I was Obviously, I've been back and forth, so you know, I'm not going to sit here for hours and do it. Uh, go to the store and purchase. So I was like putting it off, saying, Oh, well, you know, I'm old, I've just done my shopping, uh, I might not be doing shopping for another few days and stuff like that, just to wind them up, basically, just to see how much they'll bite. Uh, and I kept on saying, Would you not just want to do a direct transfer? Because I was hoping if they give me bank details, right? If they give me bank details, I can forward those bank details to the police, and the police could actually investigate them, trace them, find out where. Or who belongs to that bank account and actually get do some legal about it and hopefully get them done you know that would be nice um but the gift cards fastest means of payment no it's not direct <laughs> direct transfer wire transfer would be a fastest means of payment but hey ho stupid people um you know, to purchase gift cards so we'll, we'll go down the route of yes we're going to get gift cards blah 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 uh, you can read this yourself if you want to pause and look through this. Uh, try to deposit at least a thousand quid. So I was saying, oh, I might get, get a couple of days. I'll, I'll get, I'm due to do some shopping in a few days. And eventually I'll, I'll, I'll turn around and say, I'll message you when I've got it all sorted. So I left it as that sort of thing. Okay, how long do you think it'll take? As long as it takes. So I'm basically putting the stoppage on them and saying, you'll get it when I decide it. you're ready to get it. Okay, so I'm, I'm controlling the conversation all the way. Keep me posted. Okay, <laughs> whatever. Uh, so eventually, I left it for a while. Hello, dear lucky winner. You know, um, the government wouldn't say that. The government would be calling you by your name. Okay, they wouldn't say lucky winner. They're not. They're not that. They're not that nice. You know, what is going on with the gift cards? And it's like, well, <laughs> you, I'm waiting to get them. Um, have you got the cards? Yes, I have gift cards. So I finally thought I'll, I'll say yes, I have. Which card did you purchase? Amazon. Um, scratch it off and send the card to me so I was like quickly thinking how can I do this so I quickly went on Google did a search for Amazon gift cards which I found loads of them there's loads of posted all over um, Amazon uh, all over Google pictures so I was like right, I'll, I'll grab some of them and post them uh, so did you get that send the picture so I sent them the one from Google there it is okay good how much have you purchased a thousand quid so they think they're in they think they're in they've got that code all they've got to do is redeem that code in, a, in an Amazon account and they've got a thousand quid or so they thought um, okay send the picture card pictures to me so so they're asking for all the cards that we would you know, accumulate to 10,000 quid so I just posted the same thing because we didn't really specify more cards or other cards so I've just started posting the same card over and over and over and over a few hundred times okay um, send a card receipt you're obviously getting a little bit drastic at this point uh, so he's asking for a receipt and I was like oh, I need the receipt for my records and really I shouldn't be giving that to anyone okay I was trying to show them that I wasn't completely stupid okay how much is the gift card again a thousand quid I told you what it was one card yes I'm able to add more apparently but I thought it was safe amount okay and then I posted the same things again how many gift cards did you purchase are you there are you a liar so I decided to own up to the whole situation yep and I was just basically saying that I already knew okay so I'm like yep and you're a scammer finally the penny drops sort of thing they must have been seething absolutely seething at their end 
So I basically kept on saying, you're not a very clever person, are you really? Um, trying to clone all people and trying to con their friends. Blah, blah, blah. You are a stupid and worthless scum. Would you like it? more Amazon cards? So I posted more and more and more of this card. More and more and more. Pasted, pasted, pasted loads of them. Absolutely flooded the message box, okay? Uh, and then he got to the point where he starts getting a little bit aggressive. You know, F you, you crazy liar, blah, blah, blah. Then he starts to, I don't know what they did for this missed video call. I think they were trying to send me a video call, but obviously my security is up there, so it won't accept video calls unless you're a friend. Uh, so I just bombed them out straight away. So they're like trying to counterattack me and at my security site saying, go away, little boy. You're not, you're not worthy. You're not intelligent enough to abuse this person. Uh, and here's the best card for you. Uh, and then as you can see, this is a great one. Okay. This was in Google apparently. Okay. Apparently this is a valid scratch card for Amazon with that word. Um, as far as I know, it may be photoshopped, but as far as I can see, it looks reasonably genuine. Um, it doesn't look like it's photoshopped uh, from anything else. That could have been two different letters and it might have photoshopped that. Hard to say, but it looks good anyway. So, uh, again, he tried to do a video call thing and it was like, pfft, it just bombed him out, didn't even get anywhere. And then I started posting that one to the point where he's like, liar. And he's like, and I'll just basically say, says the con person, biggest and weakest form of liar. Okay, because that's what they are. These cloners are the biggest form of weak liars you can get on the internet. Okay, they are, they kind of do a proper hack. They kind of hack people's accounts, so they do a clone. Because cloning is easy. Anybody can clone if you just Google how to do it. You don't, a 10 year old can do cloning. You know what I mean? Even an eight year old could probably do a clone. Okay, again, try to do a missed call thing. Uh, and I've just basically put out the end of the conversation. That was great fun. Please tell all your friends in the building, because I'm assuming they're in a big warehouse somewhere in India or something like that. Uh, know that I enjoy wasting t your time and effort, okay? And I've got heard nothing since, uh, which is great. Okay, so that means I win, okay? At the end of the day, I got you. You were so, you thought you were getting somewhere and then you were shot down in flames with lots of peril. Um, so that's it. Um, so that's that's why they clone accounts because they assume people are going to be stupid. There is probably some people out there who unfortunately suck it into this thing where, you know, they don't believe in the whole it's too good to be true scenario and, and they fall for it. Um, it's a shame. But now you know people why there is clones out there. What I suggest everybody does on Facebook is check there is you can google how to make your facebook account secure if you're unsure if you're unsure of messing around with the facebook security settings get an it person in get them round to your house get them a good cup of coffee get them a good biscuit get them to sort it out for you okay D don't put it off because one if you have got a public account in some form you will get cloned eventually they are out there they are cloning anybody they can because if, it, it, if they just get one person to to pay a thousand quid, that's a thousand quid at the end of the day. Imagine that there's there's millions of people on Facebook out there. There's got to be they've got to be making money, otherwise they wouldn't be doing the cloning. So somebody's falling for it. So please get your profiles secure, make them private, make them only friends of friends can find people, um, and that, that's the best way of doing it. Okay. Uh, and just say, just stay safe, people. That's all I can say. Until the next time, I hope it was uh, in a little bit fun for you. Um, it wasn't meant to be too serious. It was just meant to be, you know, open your eyes a little bit and don't be led into into losing money because I, I hate hearing about people losing money because of fraudulent acts like this. Okay. Until the next time, watch what you're doing and uh, please take care. Hi, this is WBCS Neo. Thank you for watching this video. Um, if you did like it, please check out all the other videos I do have. Uh, more importantly, please subscribe, like, share, and if you can, comment below if you want. Okay, um, comments will be answered as soon as I can. Until the next time, see you later. Bye-bye.